this is Times Square and this is a laptop battery. Can we talk about power consumption now? Hi, I'm Mike Halsey, the author of Windows 8 Out of the Box from O'Reilly and beginning Windows 8 from A-Press. And no matter how long the battery lasts in your laptop, ultrabook or tablet, I'm willing to bet it's not long enough. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get the best out of your battery life. So let's have a look at how we find the power management options in Windows. In Windows 7, you search for power at the start menu search box and you'll see power options appear in the search results. In Windows 8 and Windows RT there are two ways to find the power options. You can either search directly for power at the start screen and select power options from the search results that appear or you can press the Windows key and X to bring up the administration option and click power options there. When you're looking at the main power options window you will see various different power plans and these will vary depending on where you bought your computer from and who configured it. But by default there are two or three and next to each is a change plan settings link. So if we click this, uh, we then have more control over um, display and over additional items when it comes to running on battery or whether the computer is plugged in. And these are all available via little drop down menus so you can choose what's what and you can adjust the brightness of the display to bring the brightness down so you can still see the, can still see the screen but where it's using less power because the screen uses the largest amount of power on your computer. There's also a change advanced power settings link down in the bottom left of the window so let's have a look at what happens when we click that. The advanced settings for the power options give us finer control over the power consumption on our computer. And you'll see here options for controlling the power management of the hard disk, of your Wi-Fi adapter, um, of various other components such as the processor, such as USB devices, and even finer control over the display including things like the brightness of the display when it's dimmed as well if the computer has not been used for a while. And these provide all sorts of additional controls, each of which is fully configurable. There's another really useful way that you can save power on your computer, and that's when you don't need them just to turn off your wireless adapters. This could be your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mobile broadband, all of it. And you can do this in PC settings, you'll see a wireless panel and here you have switches to turn on and off, mobile broadband, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and other computer components. In addition to this, if you open the settings panel here and open your network connections, you'll see a flight mode on off switch in the top right of the screen and that will just turn everything off. I hope you found this video helpful. You can find much more information in my books. But for now, from me, Mike Halsey, and from 4 million Americans, most of whom seem to be here, thank you for watching.